If you're asked to find the molar mass for 2H2O, here's how you do it. So the 2 here, what that means is we have 2 water molecules. So 2 times the molar mass of water, that's how we're going to figure this out. So we can put our 2 out here in brackets and then find the molar mass for water. We do that by looking at the periodic table. We have hydrogen. Hydrogen right here is 1.01 .01, and the units are grams per mole. Let's write those at the end. We have 2 atoms of hydrogen. So we multiply that by 2 and then we add the 1 atom of oxygen. That's 16.00 grams per mole. And let's put our brackets here at the end. So to do the math, 1.01 .01 times 2 plus 16, that gives us 18.02. We multiply that by 2, we get 36.04 and the units grams per mole. So if you are asked to find the molar mass of 2H2O, this is how you do it. This becomes important because sometimes you'll have something like this, where you'll have a molecule like calcium chloride. This dot means that there are two water molecules around the calcium chloride. We call it calcium chloride dihydrate. So to find the molar mass for this whole substance here, you need to know how to figure out the molar mass for two water molecules. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.